Hey, it's Chris with Candlewood East Marina. Hard to believe what the end of the season is upon us. With that said, our fall services and winter service forms are out. So we're just going to take a few minutes to take you through how to process those properly. When you're filling out your form, it's important to know how long your boat is. You're going to use that length to fill out the entire form, including your inside or outside storage amount. Please note inside storage is on a limited basis. If your boat's going to stay outside for the winter season, it's going to need to be shrink wrapped. Number three on our list is just that. Please note if you have a tower, a pontoon boat, or a boat over 25 feet, there's a special line item for that boat. If your boat's been sitting in the water for the season, it's going to develop a water line. Number four on our list is a bottom clean so that we can properly clean that off and store the boat for the season. Number five and six on the list have to do with hauling and handling your boat. That means moving it around our yard. If you have a trailer, please contact our service department so we can make sure that we have access to it. Otherwise, we do have our own trailers and forklifts to move your boats. Number seven and eight on our list have to do with picking up and bringing your boat to Candlewood East. If you're dropping it off already, no need to choose either of these, but if you need our team's assistance, here's what you need to do. If you live on Candlewood Lake, we can come by water, pick up your boat and bring it back to our docks. That's gonna be number seven. And number eight is you live off site and you need one of our haulers to come pick up the boat and transport it over land. Number nine on the list is all about winterizing water systems that you have on your boat. For a cobalt, that could be things like your toilet, your shower, or your sink, or if you have a heater on board. In a nautique, that could be your ballast systems or your heater. For our Barletta pontoon owners, you also have to winterize that center pontoon. Number 10 on the list is engine winterization. Now we have a separate form for those engine winterization rates, so make sure that you pull that out and look closely to make sure that you're picking the correct engine and price to go in there. As always, you can reach out to our service team at any time with questions so they can assist you filling out this form. As a reminder, make sure that you fill out these forms completely and send them in as early as possible. This doesn't mean you have to be done with your boating season right away. You can continue to use your boat until you're done, but at least we'll be able to get you onto our calendar. Please make sure that you fill out all areas, including the back, which asks for a signature. We hope that you had a great boating season, and we hope that it's a quick winter so we can get you back out on the water soon.